even if you are hungry, with Bitcoin you can also get yourself some food on the table. Hello, Adrian here for Bitcoin for Beginners. In my Bitcoin adoption challenge, I commit myself to making one product purchase with Bitcoin each month. And in this series, I record each one. If you want to know more about how or why I do this, please check out the video link that's popping up here. With these videos, I hope to encourage you to join me in this challenge as well, so we can support the Bitcoin ecosystem and Bitcoin accepting merchants. A quick overview of the rules that I apply, I will repeat at the end of this video. I will also explain how even hodlers that don't want to spend their precious satoshi still can participate. One of the most popular sites to order food delivery in the Netherlands is thuisbezorg.nl, which translates to delivered at home. Thuisbezorg.nl is basically what you would expect from a food delivery platform. You can order food from most of your local delivery service eateries. The special thing about thuisbezorg.nl is that we can order and pay with Bitcoin, which we are going to do today. But before I start ordering food here, if you enjoy our content, please like this video and additionally subscribe to our channel to follow our updates on everything Bitcoin and cryptocurrency for beginners. Because thuisbezorg.nl accepts Bitcoin, all over the Netherlands we can order all kinds of dishes from many local eateries and pay for it with Bitcoin. And not only in the Netherlands. If you go to takeaway.com, it will redirect you to the right domain for your country. They operate in several countries in Europe and even beyond. For example, look at the takeaway.com Belgium. Not each country has Bitcoin as payment option, but many do. So if in your country takeaway.com offers service, you can check if they offer Bitcoin payments. As you can see, Belgium does have it. Germany also has a takeaway.com at the domain lieferando.de and there you can also pay with Bitcoin. Now let's order at thuisbezorg.nl. First we need to enter our location. For this example, assume we are in Amsterdam. It will search for the nearest eateries that are still open. Now we can select one eatery that we like and look at the menu. Choose the desired items till you reach the minimum required order amount. Also, you can select some extra preferences, like the type of sauce for example. I chose mixed grill eventually, then the next step is click order and it will take you to this screen where you can fill out your details where you want your food to be delivered. Then scroll down and choose Bitcoin as payment methods, and then click order and pay. This will lead you to the takeaway.com checkout page from the payment processor BitPay. Now you can enter which Bitcoin wallet you will be using to pay the order. In my case, Samurai Wallet. Click continue. Enter email address again to receive payment confirmation. Press submit. Now the amount to pay in Bitcoin shows up with a QR code, which we can scan with our wallet app. When I open my wallet, I will press here to activate the scanner. And then simply scan the QR code, which will automatically enter the necessary transaction details for my wallet. Then press review transaction. Now I can double check the transaction data and optionally adjust the fee if needed. Then press the green button again, press yes. Now just wait while it is sending the transaction to the Bitcoin network. And within a few seconds, BitPay will already confirm they have detected the transaction. And a few seconds later, my wallet also registers that the transaction is pending. Now we'll just have to wait until BitPay processes the payment and approves it for takeaway.com, which took several minutes. Then they confirm they received the order and an estimation of the delivery time. While we are waiting for our food, we will directly buy back the Bitcoin we just spent. I will buy the Bitcoin amount that I spent in total, including fees. By the way, the network fee was about 14 cents. So 0.0023111 is what I will enter. And click buy to place the order. And then submit order. The order fills immediately and here you see that I successfully closed the order and bought my Bitcoin back. About 40 minutes later, the food was already delivered to my home. Let's see what I got by unpacking it. Here are the fried potatoes. And this is the mixed grill with shawarma, kebab meat and a lamb chop. It looks delicious and all I can say is show takeaway.com some love and order your food delivery there and of course pay them with Bitcoin to support the ecosystem. You can always buy your Satoshis back directly like I did. Just as a short reminder, which rules do I apply for my commitment if you wish to do the same as me? Buy at least one non-crypto related product or service and pay it with Bitcoin. Make sure your transaction takes place on a network, Bitcoin or Lightning and avoid crypto debit cards for this specific challenge. If there isn't anything you want to buy that you can buy with Bitcoin, use Bitcoin gift cards websites as alternative or donate Bitcoin to a cause you want to support. Most important for hodlers, replenish the Bitcoin you spent in a purchase by buying the same amount back immediately. Your buy order will also offset the sell order by the merchant that your product purchase generated. 
as businesses usually need to sell the Bitcoin for fiat. How to prepare for a smooth execution of this commitment? Keep a spendable Bitcoin amount in easy accessible hot wallet, like mobile or desktop, but no more than you would be comfortable with as keeping physical cash. Keep the exchange account funded with some fiat balance so you can always immediately replenish the Bitcoin that you spent. Tell us what you are going to buy with Bitcoin and let me know in the comments. Subscribe, hit the notification bell and watch our other episodes that are displayed right here. That's all. See you soon.